Okay, today we're going to take a look at um, the mean value theorem for integrals. Okay, we'll start out with the definition, um, kind of lead into average value, do a little visual about what the theorems are actually saying, and then we'll work out an example. All right, so to start with, um, we've got the mean value theorem for integrals. All right, if you do recall, there was a mean value theorem for derivatives. Okay, so we also have one for integrals. And it states that if f is continuous on the closed interval from a to b, then there exists a number c in the closed interval from a to b, such that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to f of c times the quantity b minus a. Okay, now in this theorem right here, all right, for clarification purposes, this f of c, it really is the um, average value of f on the interval from a to b. Okay, and so we'll go into a little bit more detail. If I stick with just this theorem for integrals, okay, basically that theorem says <clears throat> that there is a rectangle whose area is precisely equal to the area of the region under the curve across the entire interval. Okay, just lets us know that there is one. Okay, now if I take this mean value theorem for integrals and I solve it for f of c, so in other words I divide both sides of the equation um, by b minus a, then I can come up with a definition for this average value. Alright, so that's what we have here. We've got the definition of the average value. Alright, if f is integrable on the closed interval from a to b, then the average value of f on the interval is equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Okay, so this is the average value. Okay, all right, now what this definition tells us is that the area under the curve of f of x on that interval from a to b is equal to the area of a rectangle whose width is b minus a and whose height is equal to that average value. Okay, now that may kind of be hard to comprehend, so what we're going to do is we're going to write that down and then look at it in a picture form. Alright, so what we've got here is we've got what I just said, the definition of the average value of the function. Alright, what that definition really means is the area under the curve of f of x. Okay, so here's my curve f of x. So the area underneath the curve on the interval from a to b is going to be equal to the area of a rectangle all right, whose width is b minus a okay, b minus a and whose height is equal to the average value so here's my point c in the interval there's the average value all right, and that's the width of the rectangle okay so in other words this area underneath the curve from a to b is equal to the area of this rectangle and its width is b minus a and its height is the average value of the function okay so that's just kind of a visual understanding of what the average value of a function means all right and how you can consider that when you're working out your problems okay so let's now go to um, an example problem where we actually work one out here We'll uh, find the average value of the function and then we'll also find the values of c for which um, the guarantee is guaranteed by the theorem. Okay, so um, let's suppose that we've got um, a function f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x and we're looking at this on the closed interval from 1 to 4. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our average value. All right, then we'll find our values of c that are guaranteed by that, that theorem. All right, so um, average value is given by 1 over b minus a of the integral a to b of f of x dx. Alright, so I'll write down that formula first. Alright, now I'm going to plug in my values. Um, this is a and this is b and that's my function right there. So it's going to be 1 over 4 minus 1. I'm going to integrate from 1 to 4 f of x, I'm going to put my function in here, so 3x squared minus 2x, and then dx. All right, and then I'm just going to basically work this out. Um, I'm straight integration here with power rule, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So I'll have a one-third out in front. All right, if I integrate right away here, um, add one right there would be a 3, and divide by 3 there, so it's going to give me an x to the third. All right, integrate here, that'd give me a 2 as my exponent, 2 divided by 2 is going to give me a 1 right here. 
All right, and then I will be evaluating this on the interval from one to four. So one to four. Okay, so next step, I'll keep the one third out here. All right, we're gonna plug four into everywhere. So I'll have four to the third minus four squared and then plug one into every place. So I'll have one cubed minus one squared. All right, doing a little bit of arithmetic here. I'm gonna have a one third. This would be 64 minus 16. All right, and then minus one minus one. All right, simplifying this out here, I'm gonna have 48. All right, so one third times the 48 which is going to give me an average value of 16. All right, so that is my average value right there. Okay, now it says to then find the values of C guaranteed by the theorem. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, have to take this average value and I'm going to set it equal to my function and then find the values that are guaranteed by that theorem. Okay, so I'm going to take my function, which is here, let's, we, let's even identify here what we're doing here. We're finding c now at this point. Okay, I'm going to take my function, which is 3x squared minus 2x. I'm going to set equal to my average value. Okay, solving this equation, quadratic there, it looks like I probably ought to move 16 to the left. So 3x squared minus 2x minus 16 equals 0. And uh, let's try to factor that. If it doesn't factor, of course, you'd have to use quadratic formula or something along those lines, but we're gonna hope that this factors. Let's do a 3x and a 3x here. Um, factors of 16 looks like eight and two is gonna work. So if I put an eight here, two here, we'll make this minus, we'll make this plus. Okay, negative eight and six will give me the negative two there in the middle. All right, so setting each one of these equal to zero, x is gonna equal eight thirds or x is going to equal negative 2. All right, so from this, I can conclude then, therefore, when my average value, or my f of c, is equal to 16, then the values of c, which are hold guaranteed by the theorem, is c equals 8 thirds, and c equals negative 2. All right, so one example um, of that average, average value theorem worked out, finding the average value, and then finding the actual values of C, which are guaranteed by the theorem. All right, so uh, just one quick little example and a good definition of the mean value theorem of integrals. Um, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.